Welcome to part three of How to Write a Song. I'm Robin Frederick. In the last video, I showed you how to create a strong song title. Now, let's begin to turn that title into a great lyric by simply asking a few questions. The questions suggested by your title. If you use these questions as a guide when writing your lyric, you'll be able to finish every song you start. Keep listeners with you all the way through. And make sure your song says what you want to say. Some of the questions will be ones that you want to explore. Others will be questions that listeners might have. Let me give you a few examples. Take a classic song title like Heartbreak Hotel. Some of the questions you might want to answer are, What is a heartbreak hotel? What happens there? Where is it? Sure enough, these questions are all answered in this great rock standard. Here's another example. In the song, I Knew You Were Trouble by Taylor Swift, listeners will want to know who was trouble, what kind of trouble, and how did things turn out? In a big country hit like You're Gonna Miss This, recorded by Trace Adkins, we want to know what it is we're going to miss. Why will we miss it? Check out the lyric. You might be surprised by the answer. That's the sign of a good song. It draws you in with questions, then answers them in a fresh way. In other words, every title suggests questions to be answered. You can choose the questions you want to answer. Just be sure to include the questions that listeners will ask and answer those too. If you were a listener, what would you want to know? Here's a list of questions that work for many song titles. What does the title mean? How do you feel about that? Why is it important? What caused it to happen? What do you think or hope will happen next? As you work on your song, you'll probably think of more questions. Just add them to your list and keep writing. You're going to answer at least one question in each section of your song. I'll give you more information about the different sections of a song in the next video, but for now, it's important to remember that your list of questions will help you keep your song focused, write a song that's interesting to listeners, and give you plenty to write about. At the top of a piece of paper, write the song title you want to work with. It can be your own title or one of these. A dream on the edge, hiding in the shadows, what you can't change, or slipping away. List three or four questions the title suggests and you want to answer. Think about what you want to say, what emotion you want to express in your song. What questions do you think listeners will have? Will they understand what your title means? Remember, listeners don't know anything at all at the beginning of your song. What do you want them to know by the end? Add those questions to your list. The next step in writing a strong song is laying out a path for your song and putting song sections in the order that listeners like best. I'll show you how to do that in the next video in this series. For more songwriting videos and updates, subscribe to my channel on YouTube. If you like this video, share it with a friend on Facebook or Twitter. My book, Shortcuts to Hit Songwriting, has over a hundred more tips that will help you write memorable, moving songs that listeners will want to hear over and over. And be sure to check out my book, Shortcuts to Songwriting for Film and TV, the only book on the fastest growing market for songwriters. This is Robin Frederick saying good luck and may your songs flow.